I came to Iowa in 1983 to do a PhD program. I was a community college teacher, and prior to that, I was a what you might call a radical American leftist, mm -hmm. except I was a black version of that in the Black Panthers. What does it mean to be an American is the most powerful question I think that we can ask of ourselves and is ask of us as Americans. Because we have to then own something about our history, as complicated as it has been. It's also been wonderful. So what is really powerful about that question is it, it asks us what do we own, what do we share. What does it mean to be an American is, I think, the highest of ideals, everything from come on in, spend the night at my house, um, you want to know directions, well, I'll, I'll just drive you there. That's very American, but also ideas like being anti-intellectual. Yeah, I love your ideas, but just what do you mean? You know, this is so American. And at the same time, what American is, is a horrendous responsibility for changing some of the backward things in their own backyard, but also around the world. The things that we pick up in our culture that are the things that we find it difficult to talk about, that's your dirty cultural laundry. And that you're responsible, you bring that to the table wherever you are, and you're responsible for, for looking at that and responsible for you know, overcoming that. I think the dirty laundry, we all have it. African Americans have it, Asian American. We're as isolated and have all the myths you know, that everybody else has. This is what I think people in the world love about us Americans. We're loud, we're in your face, we're problem solving, and you get to see yourself as American better once you get outside of the United States. So I asked my students, how many of you have left the country? And most of them have. And I said, is that when you felt more like an American? They said, yes. I said, because the culture's in our face. But when you start seeing what we defend, what we value, all right, then you get the flavor and the taste and the spirit of America. You young people have to define what the popular culture is because it has a powerful tool. Popular culture is a tool of transformation. It is a major thing that changes the world. In fact, we don't, we don't need weapons anymore. We just export cultures around the world and exert forces. Hmm. And what I loved about your idea was that you were actually trusting strangers and bringing that to your work as artists, as filmmakers. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> so American. <laughs>